Today we're working with Marvin and he's got this great curly hair so we wanted to keep some of it and we did this the babiest of mullets and kept kind of a curly messy fringe on top that he can wear a bit forward, push it back a little bit and just overall wear it pretty natural. So let's get into it and see how we cut it. In sectioning this haircut, we want to see where Marvin's natural hairline actually wants to part. So we're starting at the recession. I'm seeing where it's naturally parting and then we're taking it all the way back to the crown. I'm using more of a V section in the back because I'm wanting this to come together at a point because I'm, I'm planning to use cross graduation in the back and that's going to work out really well with this point. I also wanted to drop down a little bit below the crown so that I can control this crown later. To cut the sides, we're going to use diagonal graduation here. This is because I want to build up and maintain weight at the parietal while also getting really tight to the skin by the hairline. So anywhere that we're going shorter on the external, longer on the internal, that's going to be graduation. I'm opting for this diagonal approach because I want to build up a moderate amount of weight. I don't want to go too crazy. Now we're going to work down from the mastoid. I actually want to change angles a little bit and start to layer. That's going to help us retain these curls in the back. So I'm kind of taking my knuckles off the head and placing my fingertips closer to the head. This is almost going to give us this like hourglass shape. Now we're just going to repeat the process on side two. This time my fingertips are going to be tighter to the head and my knuckles are going to be further away. Once again, I'm cutting right down to that mastoid with graduation. And then as soon as I get to the mastoid, that little bone behind the here, I'm switching over and I'm pulling off a bit to layer. To cut the top, we're going to use these vertical sections. That allows me to control the shape vertically because I want this to be more of a round shape that follows the head pretty naturally so he can wear it just about any direction. I'm connecting to the crown here and then following all the way forward and rounding just with the shape of his head. I'm also making the shape round horizontally. This is again because we want this to, to sit pretty well curly. Uh, we don't want to see a lot of disconnection to the side, so I'm just going ahead and rounding this so that it sits a bit more naturally with his head. Here I'm just taking a little bit of weight and length off the fringe. It didn't need much to come off. And then I'm using a slicing technique to just remove a little bit more weight and break up that line. As you can see here on the back hairline, the curls look just a little bit thin because of how we layered it. So I'm using the razor to give it more of a solid base without it being too firm. Like we don't want it to be this blunt scissor cut line, but we do want it to have like a nice weight to it. So I'm using that razor just to kind of solidify that line a little bit while retaining some, some softness. I'm using the scissors here to do a little bit more fine tuning on Marvin's haircut, just on the perimeter. We don't really want a super sharp perimeter, so I'm not gonna break out the trimmers here. So there we have it. Here's Marvin's little baby mullet, all swept back, some nice graduation. So Marvin's pretty stoked on it. I am too. It's a, it's a great look for him. You know, we've got this nice structure. Make sure you follow or subscribe to see more of this content coming out. And we have an online academy coming soon where you're going to learn essential fading methods, my scissor cutting techniques, precision hair cutting, how to build a clientele. It's going to be packed full of stuff. If you want to know when that's releasing, head to our website and join our waiting list on our education page. So just click over to our website, education, and join the wait list, and you'll be the first one to hear about it.